All right, so corn picking season is upon us, which means we need to work on our rig here a little bit. And I'm sure that we're not gonna have a continuous video where all of this footage comes from the same day, but might as well start somewhere. So here we go. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. 1650 that we always had. Number five picker, Oliver Wagon. Need to do some work to the old rig this year before she's ready to go. I try to make it a little bit better every year. This year there's a few things that are calling our name. That tire's ready to blow any second. And that rim is also the one that's bent. People commented in the video you could see it going like this so i've got a different rim and we're just going to take the whole thing off mount a new tire on and go with that but i was doing another project for a customer a minute ago and that reminded me of this corn picker pay no attention to the leaking pto output seal that is not important right now what is important is this darn button on this thing has never sprung like it's supposed to. It's missing the stuff, it doesn't hold. I got this. I bought a pack of three to fix this thing for this guy. And I thought, hey, I got something that ain't no good. So maybe we can make it better with a simple, you know, what have you. And the nice thing here is, <laughs> We're part way there because our pin ain't hooked up, you know. It's never been since I've owned it. It used to stay. And now it doesn't do that anymore. So I'm hoping that this will be the right one for this one. There's kind of some different styles out there. I'm hoping we can make it go. At the worst case scenario, all we really need is a spring. But will that go? I think that'll go down enough that it will. Yeah, I think we can make it go because when it's closed, it'll be like that. And I don't think that will come off of there. It's going to be close is what I'm saying. You can see how they're made just slightly differently. And I don't know. We're going to try it. I'm going to try shiny new parts. Just in case that happens to work. Very seldom does that work out for us in life. But I think I figured out a minute ago it worked better to just leave it. Yeah. As such. And then squeeze it over. All right. Ooh. We're going to try it, and I don't know how hard that's going to be. You see, on this affair, and it may be that it's not supposed to be, but it's the way mine is because it's wore out. But this does not telescope here. At least it never has as long as I've owned it. It telescopes in the long part and goes back and forth and what have you. So we'll try and I'll see if I can get it pulled up. It's probably going to have to take some hammering because it's been sitting for a year. So get me. We might need to go a little bit. Oh, now it's going to play that key. Come on. I can't see. It's very close. I think it will go. Yeah. There. Now. 
that yoke is pretty wore out but does it really matter because we don't pick a lot of corn last year was the most i ever picked just because some guy wanted some and i don't think i'm going to do that again he hasn't brought any wagons and i'm not going to volunteer because i do it for enjoyment not because i want extra work it certainly does not make me any more money selling it that way i guess it should i guess i should raise the price and make it just ridiculously expensive but anyway not important i'm not really concerned about whatever it's yeah you know what i'm saying i just we'll get it but at least now this won't slide off of there that was always my issue every so often <laughs> it would vibrate off of there when you would turn or something and then that was it but i think that's just enough now that it will let it uh stay on there so that's good we'll save this because actually i think that that other thing i took out for the customer still had a good spring and the clip so we might have all the pieces to make one more of these i should have probably put that in this one again but now nah, we'll try this then when it ultimately falls out we'll put this old one back in all right, the next part of this adventure, I had to move this so they could spread lime in there, and I couldn't get it started. And I filed on the points. I've had this trouble before. I would say it needs a set of points, but I'm gonna do the most ridiculous thing. I'm gonna replace that distributor. I got another one of those kind, like I put in that 270, and I really like it, so I'm gonna go with that. And I think that will fix my problem. And why, you ask, would I do this? Well, because this uses the old style Oliver points and cap and everything. And in theory, if I would convert all the ones over uh, and use this instead of that, then I would have less parts to keep on the shelf because these points would fit everything. So that's what I'm going to do. Right or wrong, hey. It's my rig, I'll do what I please. So, several things need to take place in order to make this adventure happen. Number one is, we need to remember which way the rotor is pointing. And it's pointing pretty well straight at that clip in the back. And that's really all we need to know. We can pull that out. We need to get the tachometer cable loose and I bet I need to go get a bigger pliers or something I bet I won't get it well maybe I will okay I think it's freezing cold out here you're gonna laugh that I got my winter coat on but it is cold so yeah How much sadness. All right, GoPro problems because it's cold outside. It cut off. So in case that footage was lost, we're switching distributors to this style, like what I put in the 270 because it uses the old style points and condenser and cap and everything. So I got my bolts out. We're ready to pull it out. We just have to remember that the rotor's pointed towards that clip and that's the way we're gonna put the new one in. We'll worry about uh, firing order and stuff later the nice thing about these is they're just slotted so you can't really screw it up did i not have a gasket on here that is awfully not handy i need to get one out of this box because i'm pretty sure there's one in there all right yes there is a gasket need to get the cap off whoa <laughs> I actually bought, bought <laughs> why did I do that I didn't need to take that off I actually bought this distributor for the 1550 because it still has the original Holly one on there and it does not work that grand you know so I was thinking, hey, 
might as well swap that out well the thing about it is friends i need it on this one a lot more than i need it on that one all right now we're gonna have to tweak the timing i'm sure because I lied, actually, when you put this on and it was pointed there, we also should have registered. It was kind of in between two of them, I think. So, if I'm real good at this, I could put it, position it back where it was between two of them. As such, it would need to be about right right there i could go there's several ways i could go about this i could go between them like this or i could go between them like this and i'm thinking maybe that's what i'm gonna do because that will get me well let me see if I go between them like this, I'm talking to myself out loud. That'll work. We can make it work. It doesn't have to be. This is not rocket science. Oh, you know what? It's my tachometer cable junk. I guess it is. Well, I'll be ordering a new one of those. Because it don't have the end on it anymore. I thought I had this one fixed. But I guess not. I guess I'll order a new one. Unless it's broke off in the other one. No. Guess not. Guess I was wrong. So if I think about this. And do it the same way. I'm having a, a grand old time. And I'm probably not explaining very well of what's taking place, but it was between these two, so. And I thought that I had. All right, that'll do. These are new wires, they're just not the brand I normally use, but they are solid core, so I'm okay with using them again. brain did the right thing it should be still one no yeah one this one five three six two four we're right don't forget 15 is too young 36 is too old 24 is just right so <sighs> we'll see if this makes it just so much nicer i never really did like the mallory distributors that well but that was the only choice we had for a long time maybe we should leave it loose so we can play with the timing as cold as it is though, I bet you the battery will be dead as well. Because why not? You know? Why would we stop at simplicity? Just one thing going wrong. Don't be ridiculous. Let's 
just put you right on there like this. It might be that it's supposed to go behind that flat piece, but whatever. Whoa, dum dum. Let's put this on. Need to get another knife style cutout switch. I found I like those better than these. I used to use these all the time, but they go bad in the connection where you screw them together. They don't stay playing ball, so yeah. All right, buddy boy, let's see what happens. I need to set you somewhere. tweak it a little bit but I like it stop it now it's got to warm up come on I think it's where I want it though You don't have to do that. <laughs> oh, we'll let the horsey warm up a little bit. That runs a lot better though than it did <laughs> even with that other one. It's amazing what a distributor can do. <coughs> this old horsey though, it's got a lot of hours on it. It really needs some really good love here one of these days and gone totally through and uh, made right. I don't know how many times it's been repainted. It's been, I mean, it's been burned up. It's been in the corn picker and it's led a rough life. So, yeah, we need to, need to get her a little bit better than she is. One thing we're gonna do here in a minute, well, I think we will. Now what's, now I noticed another issue. My three-point inch ain't going up, what the heck? Well, I'm betting that I sheared off the pin inside. On some of that linkage but that's okay because it is leaking anyway and we need to reseal those levers I've got all the stuff to do that I just never did it but that's what I would say is happening might be wrong but I don't think I am maybe it's out of hydraulic Another thing it needs, and I don't know if I have it on hand or not, but it needs a different governor in it. This one is not very good. It doesn't want to respond the right way, so 
Ain't that nice. Let's see here. First run of the picker. Bird's nest, yeah. Never got those paddles put in. Oh, see, there we go. Yep. Gotta let it clean out that junk. I'd like to get another picker like this for parts because there's things on it that aren't right. That bottom pulley is really messed up and I bet the shaft is bent. But anyway. this I like the distributor much much more better than that other one the other one's almost brand new it hasn't got a lot of hours on it but I will after using these I'm just gonna replace I've got one other one the 1655's got a Mallory in it from years and years ago and I was gonna replace it anyway because it's missing the tack drive piece in there and so I don't know. Maybe I'll just put that one in it and be done with it. But yeah, that's pretty sweet. So now that we've created more work for ourselves, though, in the form of the three point not playing ball game with us anymore, because like I said, I've, I'm almost betting you I sheared a roll pin off inside there somehow. Because why not? Uh, yeah, but like I said, what am I trying to say? I'm not feeling good and I'm <laughs> I probably shouldn't be out here doing anything but I gotta play with my toys I can't just sit and do nothing uh, I got more parts and I think I'll go ahead and put it on this tractor I was gonna put it on the loader tractor but I kind of feel like this tractor it needs the I bought a new seat is what I'm saying so I might put that one on this tractor and then put the other one on you know the next go around i'll get one for the other one but i don't have any of the shoulder bolts though so that would be a potential problem and i think this one's being held on with three eighths bolts i can't remember these were cheapo seats i found one time that were like a hundred dollars for the set and it was better than sitting on a steel slab which is what we had to start with so I don't know if a guy can get this. <coughs> did that help me in any way or not? I don't think it did. All right. Well, <coughs> let me get some more tools and we'll go ahead and slap that on here so it's not just sitting around because that don't do us no good. All right. Let's see what kind of no success we have at this. Because I'm sure that those will start turning in the rotten plywood that was the last seat. <laughs> you know, because why not? And a few more go-rounds with that loader tractor and I'll probably get mad and just order another seat for it because ain't nobody got time for that ain't nobody got time for that ain't nobody got time for that ain't nobody got time ain't nobody got time ain't nobody got time for that you know this is unusual for this tractor to get a seat oh my gosh i've told that story before grandpa didn't believe in buying seats and it got so bad that one time when they overhauled the tractor at the dealer the seat 
pinched the behind of the guy working on it, so he put a new seat on it and built him for it. Tough luck. You had to have a seat. So. But you get what you pay for, too, and these cheapo seats, they just ain't got it. They did good for a few years, but eventually they just self-destructed. And it's mainly the backs, which was always the thing with the originals, too. The back went bad before the bottom. Oh, yeah. Delete. Seat delete. All right. Now, let's see here. How hard is it to get those loose? I'm thinking that they're nines, but they might be half. And the half is over by that cut line where I was using it earlier. So I might have to go get that real quick. Okay, you. Can we get to it? I don't know. Let's, I'm gonna have to go the other side because I can't can't quite reach what I'm doing this away. Can't quite see what we're doing. Oh, this is what I use. Creates. But I don't remember how I got that other one off of there. Because it's hard to get to in this. Put this seat set up. What was the way that I got to it? I don't remember. I'm trying to think what I could do to help myself, but there's really nothing. Because even if I take the top half of the seat out of the frame, it's still going to be covered. It's still going to be covered by the stuff and the thing. I think ratcheting wrench is what I want. Maybe we'll get it. Come on. Almost. Not quite. This would have been a great project in the summer when it was warm and you didn't have to have 50 pounds of coats on. See, I can see it. It's just enough to make a guy aggravated. And like I said, I don't think taking her out is going to help. I should spend the whole day and rebuild this seat, but that ain't going to happen. things that could be done to it. 
Ah! Makes me mad. Why won't we? Why can't we get going here? That's what we do. It's just enough to make you mad. There. All right. Now, these are supposed to have shoulder bolts in here, and I don't have another pair of them right now, so they aren't going to get them today. <coughs> Man, that was a long bolt I put in there. And I think I can change the hardware anyway because the original seat will be closer fit <coughs> than that junk one. That junk one, or that other kind there I had to do a lot of spacing to get it uh, to be you know what I'm saying so anyway but yeah this one could use a rebuild kit with bushings because I can see right now it's got some play and stuff this handle is stuck which they all usually are until you free them up so it's actually bent too Bend it back a little bit. But yeah, this is supposed to flip up so you can change the tilt of your seat. That's why the shoulder bolt's back here. I think all the rollers are good on this one. That's good. Even these upper rollers. But <coughs> she needs a little loving. We'll do at some point, but not today. We're just going to put the cushion on. So it's a more comfortable ride, see? So I'll go get it. It's in the house. All right. So, hardware selection is limited. I really need to get to the old King Rule store and try to get more, better hardware. Because, yeah, we just ain't gonna, we ain't gonna get it all this way. I got too much stuff in my hand. That's part of our trouble. See if I can get one side. If I get one. Okay, start over. That was a practice. I got an idea. It's not going to work, but it's a nice thought. Well, the thought is, what if I get this out of the way? And see, you can't get your hand where it needs to go. Actually, I think part of what my trouble is, I think the seat is collapsed and it's stuck down. I think it should be up higher above this. Ugh. Yeah, because I didn't have this much trouble on the others. The shoulder bolts actually go through from the other direction. Two thousand years later. All right. All we had to do was shut the camera off, and then all of our dreams came true. So that takes care of that one. One thing is apparently very obvious, though, and that is that we are going to have to get the actual hardware that we need because it ain't going. Also, this is very crappy as that will not go against there now like I believe it should I don't want to say bad things but I'm thinking that the quality of these seats has diminished slightly since, since the last one I bought I guess we won't get too mad because at least they're available but I'm gonna take those two things out I kind of feel like that's redundant when you got four of them holding the back on. So I'll take this out so that it goes flat. This might be a mistake, but I don't think it is. I don't remember them being like that on the others that I got. But <coughs> what I'm saying is, look at this. I mean, is that very quality? Not so much. I think they could have done better. And like I said, I don't have the right hardware, so today I'm going to use what I got on hand. 
and I'll have to change it later when I get the right stuff. And a bug just flew in my eye, so that's real handy for filming. Yeah, it's one thing after another, you know, today. <laughs> nice new seat on a rusty seat frame. That really seems good, don't it? Okay, so that one, I could actually put that top one back in, and it would help hold. Oh, friends, I'm figuring things out as I go. That will work. <coughs> Come on. Yeah, we're going to go with that. <laughs> and all I got today is screws, like I said, if I said that. Let's have a test bounce. Oh, that looks a lot more better. And these seats are super comfortable too. Ah, oh, sits high in the saddle too. So that'll be a lot more better when I'm trying to pick corn with it. I'm looking at my seat adjustment. Am I all the way back? There, that feels right. I'm a pretty big boy and I like to be all the way up and all the way back and that's what we got so I think I took the battery cable off but yeah but we got our our tractor running with the better distributor and we got our new seat on so we're comfortable now we just got to do all kinds of other stuff like work on our three-point linkage inside now because that's messed up but that's a a winter time project it's really not that difficult Taking the top cover off, I, like I said, I'm about 90% sure I got all that stuff on hand because I was going to do it to this anyway because it leaks, like the remote levers and that. So I did it to the 1655, and uh, so yeah, I ordered two sets to do it to this one too, but never got around to it. So that's what we will do at some point. All right, so I think we'll call this a video. It was kind of random, but we did get... I mean, we got a pin put in the picker. We ran the picker for a minute. Got the distributor changed in the tractor, seat changed on the tractor. So, you know, we can pick corn. That's what I'm saying. If we have to, I guess. The only thing I need to do really of desperate need <laughs> that is different from any other year is that tire ain't long for this world, like I said before. And the rim's bent, so I got a different rim. And was fixing to do all that and never have ever ever never got that done so now would be a good time to do it i'll dig out a 14 inch tire and get that rim and then we'll probably while we're in there grease that you know bearing setup or whatnot you know that's never been done so would be a good time to do that too all right so as always if you enjoy the videos give them a thumbs up leave a comment that stuff doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out and as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.